Tonight, the red carpet was out for the San Diego International Film Festival. Now, some familiar faces were out tonight to promote some of their films. CBS 8's Regina Yorita joins us live from the Conrad Previs Performing Arts Center in La Jolla, where it's loud, and she caught up with some of the celebrities. Regina? Carlo and Jesse, I have been having so much fun tonight. I am live on the red carpet where I've had the opportunity to uh, interview a couple celebrities like Andy Garcia, Regina Hall, who both got uh, awarded tonight uh, during the award ceremony. And I'll tell you guys about that in just a few seconds, but I want to show you what's been going on right now behind me. Now, these are just some people who were at the award ceremony here in La Jolla. They're all dressed very glamorous. It seems like most of the celebrities, if not all, have been quietly sneaking out, but don't worry, we were able to catch them earlier on the red carpet. In its 21st year, the San Diego International Film Festival returns with the Night of the Stars tribute. Tony Montoot, the CEO of the festival, called the night a huge success and added that this year's film focuses on topics like social justice, women, and LGBTQ rights. It's really our way of honoring the celebrities, the actors that come down here and, and really we appreciate their work, and, and that's what tonight is about, is to really celebrate them. Andy Garcia, who starred in The Untouchables and The Godfather Part Three, was awarded the Gregory Peck Award, the highest achievement award at the festival. I asked him about his long career in Hollywood that's earned him this honor. That's the Godfather one. It was the movie that that uh, inspired me to try to become an actor and do that kind of work. He also talked about the state of Latino representation in the film industry. The opportunities have, 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 have grown and the diversity has grown not only for Hispanics but for other, other cultures. But we still haven't gotten really our share of the story. There was also Regina Hall, whose recent work includes Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul. Hall received an award for her past and current comedy films. She expresses how proud she is of her growth. It's incredible to see the journey of a career mirror your own growth. You know what I mean? To have an opportunity to have, you know, what you feel inside, to be able to express that artistically in different ways. The festival lineup includes 115 films. One of those films being introduced is called Lovely Jack. Jackson, a biographical film about a black Cleveland man by the name of Ricky Jackson who was wrongfully convicted for murder and was exonerated 40 years after. Tonight I talked to Ricky's brother and asked him how he felt reliving the events on the big screen. It took me back. It took me back to that moment. I could see the lights in my eyes when the police came bursting through the door. Here I am, a 15, 16 year old in my underwear, terrified out of my mind. Again, the party continues here as people are slowly leaving the event. Uh, now, the San Diego International Film Festival will continue until Sunday. That will be closing night. And I heard that one of the celebrities in attendance for the Sunday night screening will be Machine Gun Kelly. So, of course, we'll have more details on that throughout the week. But for now, live in La Jolla for CBS 8, I'm Regina Yurita. All right. R Regina on the red carpet, you look like you belong there. I hope you're having fun.